Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say this is Intervlog, and I am here once more. I'm here because there is one important information that I brought to you. And this important information is about the importance of technology. We are living in the world of drones, the world of AI, the world of innovations, and the world of modern technology. And you would wonder, what do I mean by that? Well, if you have been following the news about Burkina Faso, you must have heard that there is a war going on in Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger Republic. And that war is war against the militancy. But we are now in phase two of the war, because what is happening over there currently is in another level. Today, being the 14th of October, 2024, there is a big news that has reached us that one of the leaders of the Islamic State in the Sahara, EIGS, known as Adam Omaru, has been located through the help of drones and modern technology. Ibrahim Traore's men used drones controlled by Burkinabe drone pilots, traced him just as Israel or America used to trace people. That is exactly what is happening in Burkina Faso. After 11 Burkinabes graduated from drone piloting school three days ago, the war against militancy has taken a different level because there are drones flying everywhere. The leaders of the militants in Burkina Faso, Niger, and Mali are now on their own. Because what you are hearing in Sahel region is drones sound everywhere, locating them one by one, deciding whom to be taken away or not. What we are seeing in Sahel is unbelievable. Nobody ever believed that this type of technology would come so soon in Africa. But right now, it is happening. So let's go, and you'll hear how one of the leaders of the EIGS, who is actually taking lives of innocent people in Burkina Faso, was located yesterday. Let's go. A big fish in the nets of the combat forces, Ouagadougou, October 12, 2024. The combat forces intercepted Adama Umaru, a fighter and bomber from the Islamic State in Grand Sahara, EIGS, on October 10, 2024 in the vicinity of Markoy, during an operation that neutralized about 20 militants. The end of the journey of Sur Adama Umaru, one of the masterpieces of the Islamic State in the Sahara, EIGS, responsible for several attacks, cattle thefts, and improvised explosive engines, EEIS, which caused casualties in the provinces of Seno, Udalan, and Yaga. Indeed, on October 10th, 2024, in the vicinity of Markoye, the combat forces conducted a counter-militant operation that neutralized it and about 20 other militants and recovered important logistics. Adama Umaro took part in the attack on the population and detachment of Tinakov on February 20th, 2023. He was among the assailants who, on January 11, 2022, launched an ambush against a patrol of the Markoy military detachment in Tatarayat village. A year earlier, on February 18, 2021, Adama Umaru and other EIGS members intercepted at Tatarayat, Markoye Tokabangu Axis, trucks that had left Markoye for Dolbel Market in Niger. Nine passengers lost their lives and vehicles were set on fire. A native of the Markoy commune, engaged in militancy for five years, Adama Umaru is both a fighter and an artisan. Its interpolation is a big catch for the combat forces who are resolutely pursuing their missions to reclaim the national territory and restore peace throughout Burkina Faso. Let's specify that three brothers of Adama Umaru were also engaged in the groups. Two of them were neutralized during an operation in Tin Zubaratan in the commune of Markoye, Information Agency of Burkina, a capture that weakens the EIGS. This arrest is a major victory for the combatant forces, which are increasing their efforts to restore peace and security in the country. Adama Umaru was not only a field operative, but also a seasoned bomb maker, capable of making powerful explosive engines. His arrest could contribute to disrupting EIGS operations in the region and reducing the militants' group's offensive capabilities. 
Adama Umaru's story is part of a family context where involvement in militant groups seems to have been repeated. Two of his brothers also took up arms, before being neutralized during a military operation in Tinzubaratan, also in the commune of Markoi. This within the Umaru family illustrates the complex challenges facing the authorities in their fight against militancy, which often has its roots in deep-rooted local dynamics. The capture of Adama Umaru is part of a series of counter-militant operations intensified by the combatant forces to regain control of territories occupied by armed groups. The authorities reiterate their commitment to eradicate militancy and restore peace in all regions of Burkina Faso. This notable progress fuels hopes of a gradual return to stability, despite the challenges that persist in the fight against militancy. Apart from the Islamic State in Grand Sahara, EIGS, led by Adama Umaru, there's another armed group called Jama'at Nusrat al-Islam wal-Muslimin, JNIM. JNIM is one of several armed groups operating in Burkina Faso and across the Sahel, aiming to establish an Islamic caliphate while expelling Western-influenced governments. The group's operations initially started in Mali before they spread to Burkina Faso and parts of Niger. JNIM has also launched attacks in the northernmost regions of Ghana, Ivory Coast, Benin, and Togo. Formed in 2017, JNIM is composed of four armed groups, Ansar Dini, Al Murabitun, the Makina Liberation Front, and the Sahara Emirate subgroup of Al Qaeda in the lands of the Islamic Maghreb. Members of the group come from Sahel and Maghreb countries, such as Morocco. At the time of its formation, JNIM pledged allegiance to Al Qaeda. Iyad Ag Ghali, or Abu Al Fadl, a Malian fighter and the founder of Ansar Dine, is the known leader of JNIM. Ag Ghali was a member of the separatist ranks of the Tuareg ethnic group in northern Mali's Kidal region. In the early 1990s, he participated in fighting there. JNIM's strategy exploits local and social divisions in the territories it controls, appealing to groups that perceive themselves to be marginalized, such as the Tuareg and Fulani people. Currently, most of the groups are on the run after Ibrahim Traore procured over 20 different types of modern drones. Since then, the drones have given the government a big edge, including on the capturing of Adama Umaru, a fighter and bomber from the Islamic State in Grand Sahara, EIGS, on October 12, 2024. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.